So we have been test driving this car for the past week. This is the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander in the color quartz brown metallic with a beige interior. And I think it's so pretty. I absolutely love the color. I'm going to show you guys around the car. This car does have three rows and it seats seven people. So it's very spacious. It's really nice. I really like the color. And I like the way the body is shaped. So you have your power folding side view mirrors right here. Once you get out of the car and lock it, the mirrors fold in. And then once you open the door, they'll unfold. You can also just push this button right here and the door will unlock. And then you'll see the mirror unfolding. And look at this beautiful beige interior. It's so pretty. So pretty. So this car is push to start. So you have a leather wrap steering wheel and the steering wheel has a heater which is nice for when it's really really cold outside and then you get in and you can just you know have a heater right here and it feels nice on your hands. And also both of the seats in the front are heated as well which is really really nice. So right down here is actually where you can turn on the heater for the steering wheel. You have your cup holders here, you have a nice touch screen display here. And you have all of your options right there. And what I really, really like about this car is it does have the backup camera, but it also has a 360 camera, which I find this super, super helpful, especially when parking. I put it in reverse just to see if I'm like at the line or, you know, like if I'm too close to the curb. So I love this feature. It's super, super handy. This car has a lot of safety features, so of course you have your blind spot detector. It's right there, you probably can't see it, but if, you, if a car gets in your blind spot, it'll light up and flash and beep at you. Also, if you are getting too close to the lane, like a divider of a lane, uh, it'll beep at you, it'll let you know, so it's a very smart car. This car also has a rain sensing wiper, so if it starts raining, your wipers will turn on. There's also a wiper in the rear window, which I love. And then you also have a sunroof. It's really nice, brings in a lot of light. This car also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it's compatible with both Android and Apple, which is really nice. I forgot to mention that this car comes with 19-inch alloy wheels. They're very nice. I'm going to take you guys to the back. It's very spacious back here. Super, super spacious. So you can fit three people back here. And then you have your armrest here that comes down with two cup holders. And then there's a USB port back here so somebody can charge their phone. And then they have their vents right here so they can control that. And then I'll show you guys the trunk. It has a really big trunk. So you can see here there's so much room and you can fold both of these seats down to make it an even larger space. Now this is the third row right here. It's really easy. All you have to do is pull this up. Literally, it's like that easy. And there's also some cup holders here on this side. So it's, literally, it's that easy. Now when you do have the third row up, your trunk space is pretty small you can fit like groceries and just like your regular you know just your regular groceries but like if you were going to Costco or something you wouldn't be able to fit that much but you know if you only need a little bit of trunk space and you have more passengers you have that option to fold this back down you just pull on this and then it goes down back here you have a 12 volt outlet I'm gonna fold this back down just like that super easy and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with all of the seats down. So to get to the third row, it's really easy. You just pull up here and then this slides up just like that. And then you can access the third row. So to fold this completely flat, you would need to first pull here. And then that just popped up. It's kind of cool. And then you also want to release the, the headrest. And then you can pull this down. So it folds nice and flat. So now you can see there is so much space, so if you need to put like really big items in here, you don't have to worry because it'll definitely fit. So I really enjoyed driving this car, even though it is a big SUV, it didn't feel like I was driving like a huge car. It's the perfect size, very easy to drive, it was comfortable. 
even when we went over bumps, it was really smooth and it was just really easy to drive. So I really enjoyed driving this car. Thank you again to Mitsubishi for allowing us to test drive this car for the week. Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Thursday. It is 8.15 right now and I'm about to make my coffee. I'm having a croissant for breakfast. So I have that with some strawberry jam and then I want to use my new coffee. Yesterday we went to Costco and I got the Starbucks Holiday Blend coffee. This is my absolute favorite coffee. So I think I'm going to have this today. And I'm going to use one of my Christmas mugs to go with it. Okay. So this is the mug that I'm using today. And it says, warm winter wishes. I love this mug. So yesterday I decided to take a whole week off for Thanksgiving. We already have Thursday and Friday off, but I decided to take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off so I have the whole week off. That's a week that my niece Eliana will be here. So I wanted to have the week off so I could spend more time with her and maybe we can go out and take, take her, I don't know, somewhere, anywhere around here. I can take her out and then also, I can just have like time to relax so I'm putting away my Halloween candles from Bath and Body Works I have the vampire blood and the hot cocoa I'm putting them away I'm gonna save them for next year and I just took one of the vanilla beans down and I'm gonna start burning the vanilla bean because I miss it so much so I just got off of work and I'm picking up Vanessa from school today's Thursday so she had uh, what is it <laughs> color guard practice and after I pick her up we need to go to the bank I need to get some money out and then we actually need to go to Safeway because we are having BLTs for dinner tonight and I forgot to buy lettuce so we're gonna go to Safeway and get some lettuce for tonight's dinner and AJ wants to get a haircut he asked if he could get a haircut tomorrow but I said let's just do it today because tomorrow we have some stuff to do so after dinner we'll get him a haircut and then that's it. I think I mentioned this the other day. On Saturday, AJ has this thing at school for band. It's called Playathon. So there gets, I think there's gonna be like a concert for the parents and then after that, there's a raffle. And then after that, the kids actually stay. They, they're gonna stay overnight. Well, it depends. Like some kids are staying overnight, like if their parents let them some kids can stay until midnight but basically they get to stay overnight and there's gonna be like a jump house and a I think he said there's gonna be a dunking booth but they he said they're only dunking the the teachers because I said hey don't go in there <laughs> I don't want you to get sick or anything so he said no it's not for the students it's for the the teachers they're gonna be dunking their their um, band teachers and the kids just hang out have fun probably eat and just hang out they do that every year if they raise enough money so every year they have a goal and so far they've been able to meet their goal every year and that money that they raise goes towards their band supplies and music stuff like that so it's really it's really fun for the kids AJ went he's actually gone all well his freshman year and sophomore year this will be his third year going and they stay up all night. He said last year he only slept for one hour. I think his freshman year he said he didn't sleep at all. So when he gets home on Sunday, he's just gonna be sleeping like all. I don't let him sleep all day because I don't want him to like not sleep that night. So I let him sleep for like maybe six hours. But yeah, he's gonna be super tired. Vanessa wants to try this new witch's brew that they have at Starbucks. It says only now until November 1st. I think it's orange flavor, they said. You're a blur. There you go. <laughs> Take a sip, lift the curse. Here's Vanessa's drink. You need to get a straw. Okay, we'll let you know if it's good. So this witch's brew is pretty good. I wouldn't get it again, but it doesn't taste bad. It's, it's kind of good. It tastes like an orange creamsicle. It has chia seeds in it. If you like orange creamsicles, you'd probably like it. Um, yeah, I like it, but I wouldn't get it again. 
So we just got back. I took the kids to get haircuts. AJ got a haircut. He looks very handsome. And Vanessa also got a haircut. So let's see it. Dun 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 dun. She got bangs and she got her hair layered. I think they probably just took a little bit off the length, maybe like like half an inch, yeah. Kept most of the length. The um, She thinned it out a little bit because her hair is very thick. So she thinned it out a little bit, gave her some layers, and got bangs. Vanessa wanted bangs. I love it. What do you guys think? I think she looks a little bit older, huh? Yeah, but take your glasses off because then you look like you're five. <laughs> okay, bye. We got some Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies when we went to Safeway, so I'm gonna bake some of these right now. So I washed my hair today and I used my new shampoo that I got at Costco yesterday and I kind of don't like it. Well, the shampoo itself is super, super thick, which doesn't bother me, but it's the scent that bothers me, which is kind of weird because when I smelled it out of the bottle, it was fine, but like in my hair, it smells so strong. It smells like a man, like it smells like a cologne. It's very manly, and it's really strong. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I might return it, but I don't know. We'll see. So I have the first batch of cookies cooling on a cooling rack, and then I have more in the oven. Almost done, about three more minutes. I'm gonna have a cookie and some milk, some almond milk. Do you want some of this? No, thank you. Okay. How are the cookies? Very good. Very good. Mm. <laughs> Have you guys seen our Halloween house? If you guys missed the video, you should definitely go watch it and see how we made this Halloween house. And also we have a graveyard right next to our Halloween house. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Anyways, I came over here to get my Mickey bucket because I want to put some candy in here. I'm wondering if it's going to be too hard for me to, you know, grab the candy out when the kids come because it's not that big of an opening. I mean, it's pretty big, but, you know, like if it was a regular bowl, it'd be much easier to take the candy out. So I'm going to put the candy in here just to kind of test it out just to see, like, you know. You guys, I'm wearing Christmas pajamas. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas. Look at that, the whole bag of candy fits in here perfectly. So I think it should be okay, huh? What do you think? Last year, so many kids came and we ran out of candy. I felt so bad because we had to turn off our light and I stopped opening the door because we ran out of candy. But now we have two bags, so I think we're good. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you guys, Vanessa is so funny. She took her glasses off because we were gonna go to sleep, and then I, I and then I was gonna start filming her. But she said, "Don't film me! I have to put my glasses on." And I said, "Why?" She said, "It's a big difference." Let's see. Take off your glasses. What the? Why do you have to turn around? See. You look the same. You look like a baby. No way. Still look like the cute little Vanessa. 13 year old Vanessa. <laughs> what the? <laughs> so dramatic. Okay, put your glasses back on. Let's see. Five year old Vanessa? Then. 13 year old Vanessa. Oh, 21 year old Vanessa. I think I could be that old. Is your hair wet? Yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit. This one, I think, is harder to dry. Well, yeah, of course your bangs are dry. There's only a little bit of hair. Yeah. Do you love your bangs? Yeah. I wanted to get a haircut, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of want to cut it short, but at the same time, I don't, so... I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. My hair is really soft from the new shampoo and it looks really shiny. I just don't like the smell, you guys. It's really strong. Maybe I'll... Maybe it'll go away. But it's been like a few hours and it still smells. Have any of you guys tried the Kirkland shampoo? Do you guys like it? Does it smell bother you? Does it smell good to you? I mean, it doesn't stink. It's just really strong. I don't know. So Vanessa's phone charger has mysteriously disappeared. Yesterday, her phone fell in between the bed and the wall. Her charger is there in, on that wall. And then her phone fell to the floor. <laughs> but did you charge your phone last night? Really? I forgot I was charging my phone. Really? I was gonna tell you guys that yesterday her phone fell and then her phone didn't charge. When she got to school, she only had 5%. Well, you charged your phone last night, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it wasn't plugged into the wall. Because when your phone fell, maybe the charger fell. It didn't fall, though. What then? What happened? When I, I took this charger earlier, it was, it was plugged in. But what about last night? I don't know. You don't know? That's, wow, that was funny. It was right there the whole time. We were looking for it for at least two minutes. Maybe three yeah. minutes. <laughs> I know, I was like, where could it have gone? Like, how could it have just disappeared like that? Yeah, like, who? We all have our own chargers. What the? What the? That's it, I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Good evening, everyone. It is time to end the vlog, and it's time to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>